Alicia has been keeping busy these past three months since the arrival of a guest. This orphaned baby anteater. When we found him, he weighed 2.2 kilos, when he should have weighed at least 6. He lost all of his fur because of stress and malnutrition. But now he's doing great. Once he hits 20 kilos, he'll be released back into the wild, just like other anteaters who have recovered in this rescue center. The success rate is impressive. Some 80% of the anteaters brought here thrive when they're back in the wild. Once they are 10 months old, they don't want us to approach them or have physical contact with them anymore. So we keep our distance, we bring them food without entering their enclosure. That's why this species has spectacular success when it's reintroduced into the wild. Over the past 15 years, this center has released about 100 anteaters here in northwest Argentina, where the species had completely disappeared in the 1950s. Their readaptation is constantly monitored through these hidden motion-activated cameras. It's a victory for biodiversity. The result of tireless efforts by a foundation called Rewilding. Since 2007, the Rewilding Foundation has been experimenting in Ibera National Park, trying to reintroduce animals that had gone extinct there. And the experiment has seen results. The second largest wetland in the world is now once again home to the giant river otter, and collared peccary. But sometimes going back to the wild takes a lot of preparation. I always put their food up high because they're the kind of animals that need to learn to live in the trees. It's dangerous for them to learn to eat on the ground. Elena has been running this training center for red macaws for more than four years. Before landing in Ibera, these giant parrots spent their lives in zoos or as pets. Many of them have never had the opportunity to fly because they lived in small cages. So it's a skill they were never able to develop. Not only do we teach them how to fly, but also how to become skilled at it. So they're able to dodge obstacles and land on uneven surfaces. It normally takes more than a year of daily exercise to teach these birds to survive in the wild. This group of six macaws will be freed next week. Reintroducing native wildlife wouldn't be possible without the support of native communities. Born and bred in the region, Juan has spent the past two years working for the Rewilding Foundation. His goal is to persuade residents that conservation could work in their favor too, by helping develop tourism. Before, most locals made a living by poaching, and now they realize that a living animal also has a lot of value, so it's not necessary to kill it. It can also have economic value when it's alive. One of the locals Juan has been working with is Mingo. A former poacher, Mingo was able to start his own business offering boat rides powered by horse, a traditional means of transportation in the region. A two-hour trip makes him 12 euros per tourist. After winning over local communities, the rewilding organization set a new, more ambitious goal. The reintroduction of an icon that's been extinct in Argentina for more than six decades due to hunting and deforestation. Last year, in 2021, we freed seven jaguars. An eighth was released on January the 1st, 2022. It took years of work to get to this moment. Far from the commotion of tourist groups, this private enclosure is occupied by a six-year-old female named Malu, who was brought over from Uruguay. Malu is an animal that comes from a zoo, so she's had a lot of contact with humans. That means she can't be released, but we can breed her, and her offspring can be set free. In a few months, a male jaguar will be brought to breed with Malu. Reintroducing this super predator will rebalance the entire ecosystem. They regulate the populations of large deer and also small herbivores, which in turn regulates the population of smaller predators, like foxes, for example. All this will also have an effect on the diversity of vegetation and the quality of the soil. 
Once she gives birth, Malu and her cubs will be moved to a larger enclosure so she can teach them to hunt, far away from any humans. After that, the young jaguars can be set free. All these conservation efforts have already borne fruit, turning the Ibera Nature Park into Argentina's biodiversity champion.